There are days I still hate it. And I'm like, oh God, you're so annoying. <laughs> this? Nope, not that. <laughs> this is surprisingly the most ready I've gotten in almost two years. Cute. Well, almost. We're gonna be cute. Honestly, this is a little sad that this, this, this is the most dressed and ready I've been. I mean, I'm wearing a bra. It is a sports bra, but it is a bra and some support is better than no support. I feel like there's a life lesson in there somewhere, but I don't have the energy to try and find it. But since we're talking about looking for things, let's talk about what else I both can't find or feel like finding. And that is something to do with my hair. I just haven't really done anything with my hair. It's been in a bun or out and that's it. And honestly, it's mostly just been in a bun because I don't go anywhere, but I'm bored of that now, but I'm doing something about it today now this time if i don't find a hairstyle today i might just shave it all off or straighten it and both are really bad ideas because one i'm trying to you know keep my curls really popping because i'm trying to grow them out and i don't really want to straighten it because i don't want to damage it also i've been like just trimming <laughs> my curls not in like a professional way just like taking little bits and just trimming it so i know if i straighten it it'll look awful i want something that is quick easy and can be touched up pretty easily keywords here are quick and easy i already went and found some styles that we are gonna try together none of the styles well i found a lot with braids but i've not i didn't <laughs> None of the styles that I picked um, have braids. I don't know how to do braids on myself <laughs> other than like individuals. Maybe I'll learn one day. I found I think five, six, seven, eight. Sorry. <laughs> I found a few styles that I'm gonna try but obviously I can't do it with my hair like this. So I need to go wet it and prep it and I'll be back. Except I won't really be leaving you because I'll be back like right now. Look at that. I'm back and looking like a fresh wet poodle. Except it is a new day. I was just gonna wet my hair and detangle it and then do it. But like I just, I needed to wash my hair. I ended up putting a deep conditioner in it. And now we're here 24 hours later. Except now I'm kind of mad because if you have curly hair or natural hair, you know what I mean when I say you just know when things are going right or wrong when you're doing your hair. Of course, the day I'm going to mess with it is the day that I'm doing it and like, oh, these are going to look good today. Whatever. So yeah, I've done my hair. I styled it. The only thing I didn't do is normally I would take this or like a Denman brush and really define the curls. But anyway, enough volley gagging. Let's get started because curly hair doesn't stay wet for long, but is very much essential for styling. I'm debating if I'm gonna like fully commit to each style or if I'm just gonna kind of give the impression because my curls look pretty good right now. I don't know. I got all of my materials. Materials? Yeah, materials. That's right. Material girl. I did find I did find all of the ones I'm gonna do on Pinterest, but most of the Pinterests are pins of TikToks. I'll just put the Pinterest link because it's so hard finding one individual TikTok. So if you wanna do it, do it girl, boy, person, do your thing. I don't really care. I'll put it there though. So this is the first one I'm gonna do. excited for because first of all i love kehlani i love their music i love their style their energy their vibe their, their hair and any chance i have to just embody any ounce of that i want to do <laughs> so you just need to part it in the middle and then take these two sides and basically i was never a tutor i can't explain crap <laughs> you just saw it i just have to part this part out put the rest of my hair in a loose bun and that's it. Only thing is they did use one of those like bun sock things. I don't have that. So I'm just going to put it in a regular bun. See how it looks. Oh, I'm so bad at parting my hair. This style probably would have been easier to do dry hair. See, the only thing is <laughs> her pieces here are shorter. I don't know if this is going to look right. When I say I don't do anything with my hair, I'm not exaggerating. Like look how pale my scalp is. It took me way too long to do this. But here's my part. It's not perfect. That's not what they're going for here anyway. That's what I'm going to tell myself. So the next thing is just putting it in a bun. I'm just going to do this. 
Nope, not that. There, that's the best we're gonna get right now. This is so dark in the background, but like, you know, it's not bad. I do think it would look better <laughs> when my hair is dry. My curls are obviously longer when it's wet, but when it's dry, honey, shrinkage is real. So it's gonna be like probably up here. And if you just imagine that kind of a look, I mean, not like this, cause it's wet and weird. Yes. 10 out of 10 for quick and easy. And just like that, we've reset and we're starting over with the next one. Next one I'm gonna do is another bun. <laughs> sight out of mind we are parted talk about for a second why i recently have really taken an interest in doing my hair and trying new styles because i live on the west coast now oh my god it's so hard to talk and focus at the same time it's way less humid and i think a lot of the reason why i never wanted to do anything with my hair when i lived on the east coast is because you put all that time into doing it and then step outside and immediately assaulted with a wall of humidity everything all the time and effort and expensive ass products that you put into it wasted now living here it's really doing wonders for my hair because i can walk outside for two seconds and it still look good it's gonna come out well it's gonna come out good if i do it good but it'll stay good if i get it there <laughs> i only ever wore my hair either in two styles a ponytail or a low ponytail that was it i never wore my hair out i never knew what to do with it just still kind of on this journey of figuring out my hair I feel like we're dating because we're still getting to know each other. She's a little toxic, a little damaged, but we love her. Coda's gonna be whining in the background because she hears people and mom is gone and we've recently discovered she's now scared of the washer. So when that's on, she's scared and it was on earlier and she's still processing that trauma, I guess. Oh, speaking of, but yeah. I'm still on this journey of learning to love my hair and, and figuring out what works best for me and what's best for my hair. A lot of that is doing stuff like this, trying new styles, because you never know what you like until you try it. Except for me, you don't try me. <laughs> Without it being in a bun yet, this just looks a little awkward. Because I only ever wore my hair in like a ponytail, I don't think I gave my hair the opportunity to really damage it. Damage it. We all use that, you know, just for kids relaxer. <laughs> I don't know why, I just I hated my curls. I didn't know what to do with them. It wasn't, I guess it wasn't really hate. I just didn't know what to do with them. And I remember begging and begging and begging my mom, please give me a relaxer, let me have one, let me have one. And she was like, no, it's not good for your hair. But I wanted it and I just kept asking her for it. And she was like, all right, fine, but you did ask for it. My mom did tell me, okay? My mom also lets me make my, not make my decisions, but she's always allowed me to like, try things and learn from them. And I learned from that. <laughs> it did burn my hair and it burned my scalp. Okay, so I roll it, put it in a bun, and then wrap these around. And then you're supposed to pin it, just tuck it in, because <laughs> I'm not leaving it in. Obviously that does, it's chemicals and it's harsh and it burns. And who knows, maybe my hair would be down to my butt. He had stuff for like really straight hair. That that obviously doesn't work or it was for like really coily really tight curls that need a ton and ton a ton of moisture and that wasn't quite right for my hair either because it was just too heavy but the straight hair products were not heavy enough thank gosh for youtube as you know shitty as the internet can be it's also really kind of a beautiful place seeing other people with their curls and popping and looking good showing their routines and the products that worked for them encouraged me and wanted me to go and look into more products that could work for me so yeah i've i've learned to really love it name a more versatile hair type there are days i still hate it and i'm like oh god you're so annoying <laughs> But I also love it and appreciate it because it is special and it's unique and it's different and no curl is the same. And I'm starting to sound like a Hallmark card. All hair is good hair. Just have to appreciate and learn to love the one that you have because it's growing out of your head. So love your hair. It's beautiful. I promise.
There it is. Oh, it scared me. Oh, you buffalo. I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyway, now that I digress, here's the second one. It's not great. I didn't really, Ta-da! look how happy that dog is. You could have a friend if you learn to behave. Yeah, I, I would do this again. Cute, I think. I don't know what the back looks like, but there's supposed to be two braids. Next. So this last video, I guess I found, is kind of an accumulation of a couple different ones. I'm totally blanking on her name because her name is not here on the pin, but, oh yeah, it is. Lissetti, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Oh wow, and it's a TikTok and her name on the TikTok is also on there. <laughs> Read ahead. I'll link her channel and stuff because her, Jasmine Brown, and I think her name is Franchelli? I might be wrong about that. Franchelli Rodriguez, they're the first curly haired YouTubers that I watched and got me started on my own curly hair journey. So this is a couple, I'm not gonna do all of them. So first is this one. Again, another very simple look. I'm kind of over trying to part things really well. Not that I was really doing that in the first place. <laughs> Wow, look how even that part is. You're supposed to be in here, man. Don't run away, it's rude. Okay, and then we're gonna part it down the middle. We have like a part, that's fine. So now I'm just gonna take this piece, triangular shape from here, and then this is gonna come back. I'm not gonna braid it. This one or the next one honestly might be the last one just because it's almost time for me to take Coda out and I can't go out there looking crazy. Okay. Cute. And then braid. Okay, we're just gonna, I don't feel like tying that all the way down. I'm tired, my arms hurt. Okay, again, imagine that, sleek the better. And down. I like that, that's cute. Maybe bigger sections, cause I think the smaller braid looks kinda weird and it could look better. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's like frizzing. <laughs> and I just keep looking at myself because I'm trying to figure out if I like this or not. I mean, obviously I didn't braid it all the way because I didn't want to. So the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be the last one because I'm tired. I'm tired, man, I'm tired. Wednesday. You know I got a lot to say. I already kind of parted it. What I like about this one is even though you can braid it, it is just twists. One, two, three twists and then three on this side. I can truly say i don't know how hairstylists do this i've done like four on myself and i'm already tired and over it oh i guess i need gel using this pretty good gel actually i actually really like this whole line the curl talk line from not your mother's pretty good pretty snazzy oh she thinks i got food <laughs> Maybe this is too advanced of a look for me. Ow. <laughs> Popping these bands is hard, man. But it's necessary because I'm not trying to yank all my hair out. Help. I know you're not here and you can't technically help me, but how the heck do you tie these without messing up this? Wait, did I get it? Nope. I'm already over it. Hello? That was not a good idea. I shouldn't have done that, that was stupid. Oh, actually, clean. I for sure thought there was gonna be a clump of hair in that. You know what, maybe this one <laughs> just requires more patience and skill and coordination than I have because it ain't working. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think I only did like, I don't even remember, I only think I did three or four hairstyles. It has exhausted me. I don't like the way I said that. I made it scary. You know what? <laughs> I've given up on the last one. I'm just gonna try to salvage what I got going on right now. <laughs> if it works out, it works out great. Phenomenal. Hi. 
Um, if it doesn't, then when it dries later, I'll just do the little Kehlani bun. That was easy. That didn't require much skill. Excuse me. It just feels like you shook your fur on me and that felt personal. All right, anyway, there we go. I don't know. Oh, I almost broke my finger. I think these are all just signs pointing at stopping. I'm done. Sierra, you're done. There you have it. I don't know if I would call any of this a success. I wouldn't call it a failure either. I tried. And as long as you try, you can't really fail. The only thing I think I would consider a failure is if you didn't at least attempt something. And I attempted, which is a success in itself. Okay, Hallmark, go off. I'm sorry if this video was a bit of a disappointment. You ended up having to use a lot of your imagination, which is fine. We all used our imagination. I imagined that this would have gone well and that I would be a master hairstylist at the end of this. Maybe I'll do this again. Maybe I'll do it like as a week thing. And every day I do a different hairstyle. That way it forces me to put in the effort to make it look really good rather than knowing I'm just going to take it out. So like, why would I make it look great? But it's Helen. This is what you got. Yeah, you're welcome. You didn't ask for it, but here it is anyway. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up whether you liked it or not. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want to do. But you can let me know if you'd rather never see me do a hair video again. Or if you do want me to, to do like a weekly thing, let me know and I can do that. There's so many people in the hallway. Okay, it's slowly getting chaotic here. I'm gonna go. I love you. Have a good week. Have a good day. Have a good week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.